It's time for Tales from the Swing with Gene and Scott Holden. The hosts of this program are not medical professionals, attorneys, accountants, or other licensed professionals and cannot give medical, legal, or tax advice. Any information or advice given by the hosts is not to be used in place of any medical, legal, tax, or financial advice or diagnosis from a qualified and licensed professional in those fields. Information provided by the hosts is intended for entertainment purposes and do not in any way constitute medical, legal, tax, or financial advice. Enjoy the show. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Tales from the Swing, a podcast where we talk about open relationships, polyamory, bisexuality, different lifestyles, and we laugh fun. and fun. chat Basically and fun. fun. And today in the studio oh boy. is Scott Holden. Hey, everybody, and we got a show for you. This Oh, my gosh, guys. It's like wired, and it's like 1130. Every once in a while, like, okay, so Jean is a big booker of guests. She books guests for our other show, That Man of Fat Man. She's been doing that a while. She's very good at it. Aww. But every once in a while, you get guests, and you know, I mean, I usually get a feeling when I don't think a guest is going to pan out. Right. And more often than not, it's right. You know, when you get that feeling, yeah. it just tends to go that way. Yeah, it's a gut feeling. Yeah, you just can, there's something not right about right. the, and this isn't going to work. And I guess if you get that feeling, it kind of makes it easier. And I got that feeling. Right. I, you were almost like, didn't want to set yourself up for like, no, being I, upset. No, I really just, I don't know. I just, I had that feeling and it wasn't about that. It really was. I didn't yeah. think. And I had the opposite. Though. It's even funny, too, because I and I also said if she does it, I, I predict about three cancellations. <laughs> but I will say there was only one. And uh, she exceeded all expectations and I, she blew them away because she was very cool. Well, we should probably say who it is. Oh, my gosh. We're so excited to have on the show it today. Is none other than the amazing. The real Amber Rose. Oh, Yes. That's right. Okay, Mother Rose, some people say. Mother yeah. Rose Bud, <laughs> Bud, some people say. And Rose Buds are, her, are the people that follow her, her um, new it's, fans. And it's weird because it seems like when she goes on podcasts, there there's controversy around it. Right. Or, or you know, maybe the timing. Because like, I think when she was on... Um, Guys uh, We Fucked. Guys We Fucked with Corinne and Christina. And Christina uh, and it's funny because people usually say it. They say Christina first. I know, you always say I Corinne. know. But because Christina's name is spelled weird. Right. I don't know why. But, but it's still Christina. Because I have to think about it, though. <laughs> I have to think about it because I see. I actually see the letters you in my see. head and I have to reread it. Yeah. But so then um, you go right to Corinne. Yeah, you know because I know that one. I know. It. I see the C. I'm already a <laughs> C-O in my head. And, and it's funny because usually I'm not. Like I don't see linear word, you know. But for some reason, with her, she threw that name threw me for a loop. Yeah, it's not spelled like the norm. Yes, yes. Yeah. But she's adorable. Don't get me wrong. Christina's both of them are adorable. Yes. Yeah. yes. All right. Um. But so when they were on their show, they there was a bit of controversy because of something that went on with some with the guy she dated. Who oh yeah. Just yeah. happened to be who Kanye um, was. Kanye West. Yeah, it was the finger. The, the finger, finger, finger in the butt. The thing. finger. Yeah. <laughs> The ass fucking. I don't know what that's called with your finger. I guess digit, digital. The finger in the butt. Digital insertion. Digital. Insertion. Digital rectal insertion. It's digital penetration, really. Digital. Yes. Ah, yes. As opposed to penile penetration, or, uh, or what would it be if it was a toe? I guess that's a digit as well. Your toe would be a digit. Yeah. So that or would be digital insertion as well. Tongue penetration. I don't know what the tongue is medically. Yeah, it's a muscle. No, that would be anal lingus. Oh my God! Is that really? Yeah, that's what it's generally referred to as. Oh yeah, because cunnilingus would be the other thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Cunnilingus. <laughs> <laughs> Our right daughter is definitely definitely not here now. <laughs> no, not at all. Um, yeah, so we're so <laughs> impressed. And okay, as a guy who's, you know, I'm not in that world per se. You know, that's just the Amber Rose world. Yeah, I mean, I'm not 
You know, I, I see that, that more with pop culture. You know yeah. what I mean? And I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily Mr. Pop Culture. I'm, I'm more of a nerd. So well, I follow nerd pop culture. Yeah, and she's into different, you know, like all, like in other ways, like yes. makeup. And you're not but into I, like makeup and all that. You don't really and, go that But way. I know who she is. I, I'm aware of her. I, oh, God, yeah. You know, as we follow guys we fucked, you know, we listen to their podcast. Obviously, right. we know who they were. Right. And that's part of, it's funny because that's part of the reason on the documentary that we were working on. Mm-hmm. We've recently had the girls back on because after they had Amber Rose on, it seemed like they totally blew up and they've been, you know, been such a success that we wanted to circle back and get like, when we interviewed you the first time, it was, you were just on, just on the cusp of all this good stuff happening. Right. And And we were able to mention to her, them that we got the interview and all that stuff. It was cool. So now we're having Amber Rose on and it seems like. There's that little, some bit of a controversy about her, some comment she made about bisexual men. Right. And she just so happens she's coming on a show with a bisexual man. And I totally got it. I get it. I mean. She explains it the way I see it. Exactly see it. I see it. You know how I see it? it. As as who I am. She's a younger person. She's evolving. As most people would say. Yeah, but I see it the way she sees it because that's just her experience. It's her. But like, the thing, the the thing that she didn't take into account was what difference does it make if she's bi or not? You know, that could happen with non bi. But again, we're jumping ahead of the right. story here. Well, and she's open to evolving. She's and, open and to again, that's another reason I totally yes. dug her. Like we could just talk and oh my God, and I dig her so and much. like nobody was offended so by the open. other and everybody was cool and it was just. And yeah. she was impressed with our openness, oh and we God. were impressed and she with was hers. Like, and... and she was inspired by us. Very like, cool. What the fuck? I Amber mean, Rose is inspired by me. What do I do? Now, now the, the big secret was that we also, our daughter is a big fan. And a matter of fact, was the one who informed Jean about Slut, slut Walk. Yeah, I, I knew about it, but Maura kind of was like, what are you talking about? It's been around for a while, Mom. And then yeah. she talked to me a little bit more about it. Yeah. And so um, Scott left for a while. And, uh, and I, w- because we never told <laughs> magically, we never told Maura, we never told Maura that uh, Amber Rose is going to be on the show. Yeah. And it, we just, I couldn't let this opportunity go. Yeah. So we brought her down like almost unannounced. And yeah. we're like, hey, Maura, uh, just come down. We want to listen, maybe say hi to this person. And then she came down and like, I wish I had video. Oh because, my God, her eyes and her uh, mouth, everything was out. like open. Yeah, she was amazed. So, And then she started talking about... Anal. <laughs> anal, of all things. Bam. Bam, anal. No. But you'll, well, you'll hear but it you'll, all. You'll hear it in context. It's really funny. And <laughs> so Again, she talking. surpassed all my expectations. <laughs> and she's a very cool goes, person, I'm very really, down to earth. I'm really tired. <laughs> Couldn't be that she was talking about anal. I enjoyed talking with her. Yes. I really did. I enjoyed... Uh, Meeting of the minds uh, as to the whole bisexual thing. And, and I think I was able to give her, give her a little perspective of what, what that yeah. experience is like and how it's right. not unlike, you know, right. a, a, a bisexual female's perspective. And she is very, she's open and she's very like in the now, like she's very like certain, like, well, right now I'm not really into, you know, whatever. It's just yeah. not something that she can't see herself maybe liking in the future. And she's but sure she, to not like judge shame or anyone for what they like. And she's single. So there's hope. And she's fucking single guys. <laughs> she really. threw that out a couple of times. Maybe, maybe she's, maybe she, maybe she's uh, interested, you know, I know we already tried. She's that. interested in my bisexual quarter. Inch. And she came, <laughs> she came and she even said that she comes out East a lot. I'm like, Whoa, Ooh, dude, she was even, she was like, yeah. So, well, then I might be able to grab her by the pussy. Oh, yeah. We didn't ask her if she liked that. If she liked being grabbed by the pussy? <laughs> Does anybody like that? Well, only if it's a star, because if it's a star, they let you. Yeah. God, I, lost, I, I dumped my Trump soundboard temporarily yeah. the other day. So now I don't get into that a little bit, too. I was all queued up. Yeah. I mean, you can't not. You, you can't can. not nowadays. And you know what? If people don't want to talk about it, fuck them. Yeah. I'm just like, you have to. You have to talk about it because this is the shit that gives you anxiety and makes you sick. All of this shit is making a lot of people sick. We need to talk about it. It's important. Yes. So talk about it. So we're not going to interrupt this show with any other no. segments. <laughs> we do talk a little bit. It's funny because we had a very interesting um, lifestyle weekend, uh, party yeah, weekend. Yeah, 
But you know what? We go into it, some of it with Amber, so uh, may as well just leave it there. Maybe we'll talk more about it another time, but for now, that should, I think, settle everyone's curiosity. There's more than enough material here, so without any further ado, here she is, Miss Amber Rose. It's time for Getting Personal on Tales from the Swing. I'm super excited today. I um talking to someone that I've been this interview has been like a tease now for a couple of weeks, so I've been <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Um she's an entrepreneur, she's an author, um her book just came out, she's a huge advocate for women, a huge advocate for the LGBTQ community, our family. Um she's an amazing woman, she is an amazing creator. Um, her lips are flawless and I would love to have them meet mine someday. <laughs> um, the beautiful, lovely Amber Rose. Hey. 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 And your lips do like blow my mind just so you know. <laughs> you are so funny. Thank you. <laughs> so. Thank you. They're mine actually. Uh, I do. Give me a, they are. I swear. I promise. <laughs> I promise. And there's the What's up, guys? I'm so, first of all, I want to say I'm so excited to be on this podcast. I really am. Awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. I can't, I cannot wait to see what you guys are going to ask me or what we're going to talk about. So I'm like, I'm well, super excited. Maybe it'll help if we give you a little background about us first. Sure. Um, so we're, we've been married about, uh, how long? Now? Oh my God, over 20 years now. Yeah. And we think we, discovered yesterday we'll have been together just we've met about 27 years ago so Isn't that crazy oh, almost wow. 30 years yeah so um and you know we were wild children we had a lot of fun partied a lot and we would you know it wasn't uncommon for us to like sleep with friends and you know you know just mm -hmm. have lots of fun and then we got married and we kind of fell into that place where oh you know we're supposed to live up to other people's expectations yeah. And we're yeah. supposed to live a certain way, and now we're, you know, we have kids right. now. Like the cookie cutter way. Yeah, kinda. and then we had kids, and then that whole, you know, first we have one, then two, and, and you sort of, like, lose, you lose sight of sex, and you lose sight of each other, and... and yeah. And at one point, I mean, we were pretty much uh, set to divorce, and then we decided... Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, and then we decided to reconcile, and then eventually we decided to open up our relationship and, and see what happened. And, well, my God, the thing, like, what's happened is amazing. It totally, like, Better saved than therapy. our relationship. It totally <laughs> saved it. And so, so... That's amazing. We came out of the closet about all this back in... Uh, when, when the Supreme Court made their big decision. Right. And we've never really looked back since then. And then, you know, we were big into podcasting. And so we figured we would use this medium to mm -hmm. advocate for, you know, open relationships, swinging, mm -hmm. uh, you, know, whatever you know, you whatever you want to call it. We, and, right. And also kind of show maybe the funnier side of that community, that community and some of its foibles and some of its <laughs> weirdnesses. You know, so. So. No, for sure. I'm, I'm, you know, uh, I don't know if you ever listened to my podcast, but yes. Dr. Chris calls me really vanilla. Right. Um, now, now you, time. you inherited Loveline, right? I did. Yes. That is yeah, so now. cool. Not yet. Yeah, because I remember back in the day when Loveline was like Adam Carolla and uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Whatever what his, his name was. Dr. Drew. Dr. Dr. Drew. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. Now, can I say something now, really quick, Amber? We are just exactly one day apart. You're, you're, you're November eighteenth, nineteen seventy, right? Uh, no. Oh, why did I think that? When is when is your birthday? <laughs> um, um, my birthday is October twenty first, nineteen eighty three. Oh, I guess not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm I don't know saying. what the, I don't know what the hell's on Wikipedia, but it's just what is going I can't on? raise me, and I'm Spanish. I have like no Spanish descent at all. Yeah. And your birthday is um, appar apparently weird, but okay. Did you get that off Wikipedia? <laughs> Wikipedia, where everything's right. <laughs> okay, anyway. If it's on the internet, of course, it's it's the truth. Yes. It's exactly uh, obviously, right. Obviously, okay. Darn it. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so anyway, now that you brought the show to a crashing halt after an amazing beginning. <laughs> where were we before we were talking birthdays? Um, oh, oh. Sorry, I'm so sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I'm I, so we can, sorry, There's guys. a whole party going on back there. It, it, I'm, I'm walking away. I'm walking to the tennis court right now so I can actually... Do this talk. podcast. Oh, and, I know what we're about to talk about. Love lines. Love lines. And how let's you, talk some shit. Yeah, let's talk some shit. How, um, did, how did you get associated with love lines? So basically, Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla uh, passed the torch. You know, they, they, they didn't want to do it anymore. Um, and, uh, you know, it kind of ran its course as far as, you know, what they can really talk about or what they wanted to do. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, and then they just, so I had my, my first season of my talk show. Um, it was very similar to love line. Mm-hmm. So um, call and help show. Well, yeah, it wasn't, well, we didn't have callers, but we had people in the audience. Okay. Um, asking sex and relationship questions. Mm-hmm. And I had Dr. Chris and like, we really didn't, uh, we really didn't even think about that. It was actually very similar to love line. Yeah. Oh, oh. okay. Yeah, but, it I just mean, so happened to be like that, and then, um, and yeah, and then so the CBS a- approached me and was like, "Hey, you know, you want to do Love Line uh, with Amber Rose and Dr. Chris?" And I'm like, "Oh shit!" And then I started doing research, <laughs> you know, back because I-, I never really watched Love Line. I think it was a little bit before my time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm about to. Um, I, if I can yeah. date myself, I mean, <laughs> I know people bust on sex calling shows and stuff, but I remember. <laughs> so I was born in 1970. And I remember mm-hmm. in like 1982, 1983, somewhere in there, like as a, as you, I was, you know, you were reaching puberty. adolescent, exactly, thirteen, staying up yeah. late and listening to back then it was <laughs> Doctor Ruth Westheimer, so funny Doctor Ruth, sexually Dr. speaking, okay. with that. but hey, we bust on it, but it, t- I remember one thing specifically. It was almost her answer to practically everything was go to Planned Parenthood, go to Planned Parenthood, go to Planned Parenthood. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. and I, when, oh. when I was a kid, when I was 16, I got my girlfriend pregnant. Oh. And I was like, there was oh one thing I remembered to do. We have go to go to, to Planned Parenthood. We, oh ha- my God. we have to go to Planned Parenthood. We that's have to go amazing. to Planned Parenthood and take care of this. And, and yeah. that's what we did. So. Dr. Ruth. In a sense, go. I owe you know, <laughs> some of, you know, like saving my youth in some respects to Dr. Ruth. Yeah, no, for sure. For sure. Yeah. That's why it's a big thing right now to, to, to save it. Yeah, I agree. Right. You know what well, I mean? Well, to talk I mean, about it and not like brush it under the carpet. Like people should be more open about Planned Parenthood. Yeah. It does well, good. that's the thing. I, I mean, a lot of, a lot of, especially teenagers can't really go to their parents and be like, Hey mom, I got somebody pregnant or Hey, I need to get on birth control. I need condoms. Yeah. yeah. You go to Planned Parenthood and they hook you up. Yeah, yeah totally. You know, so. Yes, for sure. uh, they're doing a lot of good stuff, and yeah. yes, it sucks that they're totally under ta- attack. But everything oh, is yeah. under attack All right of us now. Are under attack. I don't want to get into uh, a if Trump. we get yeah, if we get into Trump, we'll, uh, we'll like fall whole, down to a black. It'll be hole. like the whole show. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> black hole of despair. <laughs> for sure. Actually, for it's, sure. I think it's more an orange hole of despair, but it's okay. right. So we have oh, listeners. God. We have like all types of listeners. Um, people that are like trying and trying out things, and people mm-hmm. that have you know been comfortable in open relationships. And, so and we're sort of big bisexual advocates, right? Too. So especially we're... male bisexuality. Come those guys coming out of the closet, right? Like right. myself. So mm-hmm. like, how when did you realize you were bisexual, and was it always easy for you, or did you have a hard time? Um, I knew very, very early on, right. I would probably say about six, seven years old. Yeah. Um, I just knew that like, I don't know, like me and my, me and my, uh, my little friend, I won't say her name, but like we used to like hump on each other and, uh-huh. um, like kiss each other <laughs> and stuff. And it would like feel really good. I know it does. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. I actually just, oh my God, there's so much to talk about. I actually just found tripping on, on, um, porn md and uh-huh. i'm like obsessed okay. with it oh wow um okay. yeah i never like i i've looked up lesbian I'm like i'm talking quiet because like my dad is here and he's like really military and it's weird um but uh yeah so i i, I i've masturbated to lesbian porn before but like tribbing um i think that's how you say it yeah yeah, yeah. 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 very yeah. recent okay yeah <laughs> so um yeah and i found it was fucking Amazing. That th- there's like a guy version of that. 
Yeah, uh-huh. I, think, I think it's called it's Frot for short, F R O T. And I'm not Frotting? sure. Yeah, and I'm not sure what the full. Why don't word they just is. call it like but cocking? Se- I mean, essentially, it's like <laughs> the the easiest way to say it is jerking off with two cocks in your hand. You yeah. Know? So. Oh, it's oh, not guys like rubbing off yourself and then like, in your pocket. It's like putting your you guys put your That's put pretty. your things together and then one person <laughs> takes a hand together. and grabs both of them as if he was doing one and rubs them both as if they were you know as if one. they were as if, I love that. Only, oh, it's That's totally awesome. Not. Yeah, <laughs> watching it is yeah, and, and it, it's amazing. Like you, I mean, you don't realize how good it feels until it happens. Yeah. No, hell yeah. But yeah, I just, um, so she she was like my first like sexual experience in general. Um, and it was a girl. And so, um, I really didn't like boys until I was like 15. Yeah. Um, and then I start, you know, seeing boys in school and I'm like, Oh wow. Like they're really cute. And I start liking them as well. So was that confusing to you at all? Or you were, it was all fine. No, it wasn't confusing at all. Okay. Well, because a lot um, of not, girls be- are... No shame at all? No, I didn't. Uh, well, I wasn't like... Before that, that was like my only sexual experience with a girl. And I was like seven, seven years old. Gotcha. So, yeah, so um, yeah. I really didn't... I didn't talk about it. I didn't tell anyone about it. That was like my little secret. Yep. Um, well, because and then, a, a lot of girls uh, now and from my experience, it was almost like they were, they were doing... Um, doing things with girls to get attention from boys well right so, so this is what happened so but as i got older and i start not. yeah i started i start you know going out with boys and then i kissed my first boy and um and it was cool and i really like boys but then the older girls they would always be like well i'm bisexual i'm bisexual and i always remember people in the neighborhood would be like they're fucking gross like they just have like you know threesomes all day and they make out with girls and guys and it's disgusting Mm. and so um during that time I was like oh well I don't want to be bisexual because that's fucking gross so I didn't want to put a label on it I was just like you know I just like what I like when I like it like when I see it it's just it's just what it is um and I didn't want to say that until I got older and I was like you know what maybe I maybe I am bisexual or maybe I just, you know, I've dated a trans man before, um, and you know, I kind of just. What was that like? I, trans man by by trans man, it's. Uh, it's a, 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 a yeah, female, to female. To male, female to male, yeah, or female male? to male, female to male, okay. female to male. Mm-hmm. That's like Hemis. Yeah, and I mm. used to give him hormone shots, and um, you know, like definitely like during sex, I couldn't like play with his boobs and yeah. it was just you couldn't it why because like, it hurt or uh no because he, he just lived his life as a as a male he, yeah so he wanted to go that, i gotcha gotcha oh. that, this, this, yeah so that 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 part was just kind of off limits you had to have been um, on keith and the girl right you said what babe have you ever been on keith and the girl with hemda and keith no oh because she's married to a trans male yeah that would be. That would oh, be, well, maybe yeah. I'll do that next. Yeah, yeah, you should. <laughs> oh, they probably they would love to have they you. They would love to have you on, and they've had everybody on. They've, yeah, <laughs> they're great. Yeah, yeah. amazing show. No, for sure, and um, you know, and so um, I actually got into a lot of shit recently because someone called up Loveline and they were like, you know, would you date a bisexual guy? And I was like, I don't know, I don't think so. Like, I don't, I, you know, obviously I'm a, an advocate for bisexual and you know, gay transgender community, but it's just for me uh, as a personal preference in my life right now, I just don't think that I would want that. Ouch. Um, and I got, Why? Because they're, right. because they're, what's wrong I mean, with, well, the, what's wrong with the bag? <laughs> See now, now you open my can of worms here. This, this is no, like something well, listen, that. <laughs> so a lot of people, you know, they, they were like, well, you're biphobic and this and that. And I'm like, no, I'm not. I mean, when there's a gray area, because when does it, when does it, become just personal preference rather right. than being biphobic or homophobic because right. I'm, I'm not i'm well, all it was, for but, it you know okay well here's my experience as a bi guy first of all what i experienced is uh, for, i think general bi guys experience a lot more shame about yeah. it than by because i know it's I mean, let's face it since the 90s lesbianism has been you know kind of socially accepted 
Right. And, and because right. from a male perspective, it's oh, a yeah. turn on. Because men love to watch exactly. women fuck. Exactly. It all goes back I mean, to misogyny anyway. It really does. <laughs> but For sure. So, I mean, God forbid any guy find out that you're bi-curious or you suck the dick or any of that shit because, you know, it's just you get your balls cut off socially. Yeah, you're automatically weak. You're not man enough. You're a woman. You, know? all, you, you, yeah, have, but you that... now have feminine qualities. So it, right, it all comes right, back right. to this yeah, underlying... Yeah, but why is that negative, though? Why is that considered and, a negative? And here's the thing. I'm even worse than women in some respects because I'm a guy and behaving that way. And acting feminine. Yes, yes. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, and that's what I mean. Like, I, you know, I obviously... I didn't want it to come across like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not biphobic. I just, yeah. I and guess it's... in that moment when they asked me, I was just like, shit, I fucking every relationship I've been in, a guy has cheated on me <laughs> um, with a girl. So I'm like, now I got to deal with him going to the fucking club with his friends and fucking his friends too. Like, <laughs> I, you know, I made a <laughs> joke out of it, but <laughs> yeah, you know, it's kind of like, that's just my own insecurities. It's not necessarily. Right. But really that doesn't matter whether he's bi or not. Right. I mean, it doesn't. I mean, no, it doesn't. It's just um, it's almost like it's like it's like how guys treat me. I mean, you know, if if my friend sleeps over, it's like, oh, did, did you guys fuck? And it's like, no, she's my friend. I don't look at her like that. Right. But it takes a certain type of person to deal with that. You know what yeah. I mean? And and for me, it's just I'm not secure enough yet in my sexuality. And this is this is. You know what I talk to Dr. Chris about? It's a an lot. evolution. It's a, right. It's evolution. You grow is, and you learn is. and you f- you figure things out and you try new things. And, you know how many times you know, he I... teases me and he calls me vanilla um, <laughs> because I had one threesome. I didn't like it. I now you know, because maybe it, like do you think it was the the connection with the three people or was it just the act of doing it? I feel like. Um, I, I like to be very passionate with one person. I, yeah. for me, I don't like sex that much. Um, I have to f- have feelings for you in order for it to feel good to me. Yeah. Right. So, you know, for me to just have casual sex with no feeling, it's just, I, I don't get off. Um, right. I'm I just, totally get it doesn't, it. It doesn't make me happy, you know? And, and, you know, when I, when I talk about that on my podcast, it's like, look, this is me. And that's you. I'm never, ever judging. I almost wish I could be like that, you know, but as of now, um, it's just not really my thing. And so to, to you're have a young to... mother, though, right? I am. Yes, yeah. I have a four year old. I, you know, some of that might be par for the biological course. That could be part of it. You know? Yeah. Could... No, I listen. I told I I I believe that I yeah. believe that as well. Yeah, because you're in that like, you know. Mama bear kind of phase, you know, <laughs> you're more, you're in protective mode, yeah. especially if you have a young one. Yeah. 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 He's four. And so, and that's sort um, of the thing that, that that's the phase where our relationship became the most damaged. I think that wouldn't you say, well, we, we just weren't taking care of us. Yeah. We were, we were, we were obsessed with the baby. Well, and, but that, and, and I, I think, was obsessed with work and all. Fairness. And I think though, it was like, you know, it was just like the right thing at the time, but you know, our oh, eyes. You it know. was where it was what it was at the time. It wasn't healthy though. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Well, you must have got a yeah. Party. I know you guys like sound like you're having fun over there. Although it's a ride, <laughs> no, I'm, so probably I'm, not. I'm walking <laughs> off. <laughs> um. So, but yeah, I mean that that was kind of you know my my experience growing up and and. Well, as a bi male, like, I forgive you. <laughs> yeah, forgive me, man. Forgive See, but me, how? Man. Like, okay, so you were saying, like, you just like you like what you like, but how do you know when you like something? Like, what if you like something that's like a bisexual man? Yeah, what do you exactly. do then? I mean, it's not... That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, I feel like over the years, I've grown to like different things that I wouldn't have liked before. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I'm trying to say. Like, when people are like, "She's biphobic," I'm like, "Dude." I've never had it, so I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like I, I might, I might actually uh, encounter that one time and be like, "Oh shit, I, what the fuck was I missing my whole life?" Yeah, but like, uh, yeah, you, Here's, you might get. You know there. what I'm saying? So for me, for me now, it's like, um, even with girls, I don't know. I just, um, well, I don't know. It's just I don't really, I really don't have casual sex 
ever. Yeah. And yeah. it's funny, like I got this love wall, and you know, people call me. They're like, "Oh, she's a hoe. She's like just fucking everybody mm. all the time." And I and I am and I embrace my hoeness. Are you one of these um, asexual people that are bubbling to the top now? They're, that are know. coming out of the closets everywhere. I think that's kind. Of, I don't know if that's. Yeah, I know. I have a comedic I don't stance know if on I'm, that. I yeah. I I wouldn't say that I'm asexual. I just I. I guess I feel I have to feel a connection. Like I'm never just I, I've never just looked at a guy and be like I want to fuck him tonight. Right. I don't know why I'm like I just I just it's not my thing. It's not my thing. So that's why I'm usually like in relationships and I so you, you know I'll you have to ahead. like the person you sleep with. Well, yeah. yeah. Imagine that. That's like us all the time. I know. Because there's people like we'll go to a party, like, yeah, a, and, like a swinger party, like call them. And people are like ripping their clothes off and, and, and we're, we're kind of like, we just have one basic rule. I'm we very, have to like the people we sleep with. Like, you know what I mean? But like, then when you're sitting at a, like, right. But then when you're sitting at a right party there you, there. in the corner, just making out with your husband, like it's, it's kind of hot, like with people around, but like, I don't always have to be with someone else. Like it, just because they're yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. If I don't feel a connection. I'm not taking my... I'm not taking my shirt off. I'm not taking my pants yes, off. Yes, we don't necessarily I'm go. I'm not taking anything off. Yes. <laughs> right. It's not. We kind of totally... go, like, our, we go to meet people for maybe dates later or something. And if something should happen, and it's on our terms, and we feel safe and all that shit, then we'll let it happen. But otherwise, right. you know, we have to like you. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, no, for sure, for sure. So is it like, do you consider it more of like a polyamorous kind of life? Like? Yeah, I mean, like... It sounds like if she's not into sex, how can you be following her? No, I don't think it's that she's not into sex. I think she's it's, not. Oh, wait. It's yes. A, yeah, absolutely. She not. needs the the uh, the connection. Right. Which is like us. I think yeah, we, I think I we have the, lower I standards. I need the connection. I really do. Yeah. It's just for me. I don't know. I'm just because I'm really into I'm into smells and like, oh, me too. you know, you know, like it just uh, I have to be around you for enough time to be like, yo, I want to smell you. I want your scent on me. I like, I'll get turned off really fast if I just randomly just make out with you or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Would you, would it's you like to, a, would you like to hear about a complete mega fail that we had on Friday night? Sure. <laughs> oh my Speaking God. of not having a connection. That's yeah. Hard. So, so we had been yeah. ch chatting online with this couple and we went to this, this big party which we usually don't do. We're not usually the big party people, but we figured, what the heck? And it was fun. Yeah, we did have a good time. Um, we met some people, but mm -hmm. but that first night, you know, we we got together as one couple. And we even made it into their hotel room, and we're chatting, and things are going. And I think finally we may have uh. all made it onto the bed, but everybody's clothes are still on at this point. <laughs> that says yeah. a lot, right yeah, there. Yeah, you know, but you know, <laughs> things are warming up. But then. The guy, you know, he brings uh, up Trump. Oh, my God. Do not. And he brought him up in a way that indicated he was a supporter. And I said, no, I'll, say, I'll right. tell you exactly what. And he I did. said, and I said, I don't even remember. No, wait, no. That was when he doubled down. Don't go there yet. Uh, so I said, you know, it'd probably be really a good idea if we don't talk about Trump, if we want this to go, you know. Uh, to go well tonight to go anywhere yeah. right because it sure is fucking to not go anywhere if you and then about he it. said something and i'm pretty sure i said yes we have a, a uh what did i say i think i said something we have an idiot in charge who's so crazy he thinks he's a genius yeah but yeah uh, or something to that effect and then he said something no matter what he hillary clinton he'd still he's still better than hillary clinton would have oh. been and at that moment i was like you know what that was it. We're done. Jesus Christ. And we got up and walked out. Like, what we am I wasting my fucking time and my pussy on that? <laughs> oh, yeah. No. Why reward oh, right. a douchebag? I'm not rewarding yeah, anyone totally. with that. No, I'm and not rewarding it. Well, this person was by too. This guy was by. But how so can you I be wasn't by? rewarding him with that either. Say, but that I don't get. How can you be by and support Trump? Of course. He's it's not so any, weird. Isn't that weird? Well, Doesn't that, it's let's so weird. Let's put it this way. What? His, is, he well, did, it's like he all the congressmen that are gay and by and. You know, they they vote against uh, gay marriage and, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. and then but they're like really behind closed doors, like gay as hell. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah it's yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so weird. Yeah, I, I wouldn't to, to hate yourself that much. Yeah. Self-loathing is really, that is real well, self-loathing. Mm, right there. I see a lot of that among white women lately. Yeah. I mean, I hate to say too. it. 
like a lot of self-loathing and a lot of pick like you know the other yeah. day when hillary came out i, I even t- i tweeted about it because i had to say something it's like the news media went nuts like here were all these educated mm. white women who were essentially saying hillary should just go away and hang it's, her head in shame. i agree i'm like what the fuck Fuck you. Listen, <laughs> they they are so brainwashed by their fucking husbands. I agree and, totally. And they and they literally felt like she was less qualified because she had a vagina. Yeah. Period. And, uh, it, it's it, it's like it, it was almost a weakness for her. And I love she was you. Well, <laughs> she was well more qualified for the job. She I mean, she would have been an amazing president. I just feel like the minority vote, you know, kind of was just like. We don't like her. We don't like Trump either. We're not going to vote at all. The irony um, is they would they'd probably be drawing up articles of impeachment right now for some if it was like Hillary, she some been already kooky impeached. charge, you know, like servers or bullshit. Meanwhile, right. we got a guy who's a Russian spy in the White House and they're like, well, I don't know. There's no evidence, even though it's like piling up everywhere. I mean, he's fucking tweeting. Get off of Twitter. It's like you're not supposed to be on Twitter. You don't even proofread your tweets before you send them out. Yeah, really? And he should have. He should be having someone do it for him. Why is he doing it? What's scary is I so understand this guy because I tweet the same way, like just <laughs> cra- like crazy crap. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not but, the president. Yeah, but he's the president. I'm trying to be funny. And you know what's crazy? I was actually a huge fan of Trump's. Um, before he ran for, you know, to, to be the president. Um, and cause I watched like a documentary with him and like back when he's a his, Democrat, uh, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe that's, that's when he did it. But it was just like, you know, um, I know I have money now, but my kids, they still have to go to school and they, they, you know, they had to work really hard to get where they are. And I was just like, you know, that's so cool because just because you come from money doesn't mean that you need everything handed to you. And he made his kids go through school and do the right thing. And I was like, wow, he's a great guy. And then all this happened. I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. I but do. that's pu- public perception is everything. Like yeah. you can fucking you can be a complete asshole and everybody can love you. Um, and But people behind closed doors know that you're an asshole. Right. And so now the whole world knows that he's an asshole because, you know, we have a look into his life. You know, uh, I mean, even more his so wife did before. Even I did hear his... some talking head made a very good like analogy that, in a sense, what they see him as now, when he, especially when he's under pressure, he becomes a showman. But he's play, but he's doing a show for a very specific bunch of people. Yeah, you know, he's right. doing target audience stuff, and he himself doesn't even necessarily believe the stuff he's shoveling, but he just knows that. He needs to push it to those crazies. Right. I think that, um, I it's, think it's that, scary. uh, it's very scary. Yeah. yeah we're I, being, think, we're I think hostage. that he knew, he knew that. Yeah, dad. You gonna give me a drink? <laughs> <laughs> what you I'll drinking? A, cr- a crown and Coke. <laughs> Thank there you, you. Go. There you go. Um, and so, uh, what was I saying? Um, no, I think that, I think that white men in America felt like, you know, Obama was in office for eight years, you know, white guys weren't popping. (laughs) And now, you know, they're like, yo, this is our time. Like white, white guys are popping again. And like the white man is back in office and this is our time. And Trump, I feel like knew that if he had those certain angles for like the white middle American people, that they would they would hang on to his every word, and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah, that's but, really true. Right, yeah, I like the way you reduced it down to what, yeah, white guys aren't popular. They're not, but, but a particular type of white guy, this like twentieth century thinking kind of white guy. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, the women are getting uppity. This one's yeah. getting uppity. Yeah, you and know, the coal let's, mining. Let's go back to the nineteen seventies. Let's go back to coal mining. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, yeah, and I, I'm gonna say this, and then we can talk Move about on. sex again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's talk about sex. Again. It's hard I'm, not I'm, to talk I'm, about this, and when you talk about sex, I yeah. But I I I really want Melania to file for divorce Me too. during his presidency. Really? Oh my god! I mean, wow, listen, I this love is interesting. Her. I love Melania. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. Isn't she stunning? She's stunning. Her she's, clothes. She's such, a, uh. she's such a beautiful woman. She was a model. I, I just hate when I seen like 
you know, all the, the nude pictures of her coming out when she was a model. And they're like, this is our first lady. I they're know. shaming and then her. They had Such Michelle shame. Obama, you know, all prim and proper. And it's like, they're equally as great. You know, Agreed. Melania, Melania did not ask for all this shit. Yeah. You know, she's kind of just, she, she's there. I mean, I'm sure she loved him when she married him, but obviously he's, a, he's a complete asshole to her. I feel like she's getting abused. Me too. And I will be the first person that like, I, I will stand right by her side when she fucking files for divorce. Um, and she would go down as a, uh, as a martyr. She would be, she would be so loved. Right. I feel like. Yeah. Um, so no, she's swatting him away. And stuff. Yeah. She doesn't want to be touched by him. But here's the one I've heard. Her, I've heard it said that she's said, ask not what you can do for the no, way. Ask not what the Donald can do for you. Ask what you can do for the Donald. Yeah. Well, if that's her, I hope that's not her. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. had to think about that. <laughs> you know, and then and then, you know, people were talking shit about how she took Michelle Obama's speech. But I mean, English is not her first language. Yeah, yeah that's true. You know, so someone wrote that for her. And she's thinking like, yeah, you know, like, okay, I- I'm going to do this. I'm sure she's an amazing woman. I'm um, all, I also doubt, I, even though she took, kind of took the hit for that, I doubt she wrote that speech. I don't think she did Of either. course yeah. she didn't, babe. She yeah, didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. She didn't write that. And she so, didn't. Somebody tried to sabotage um, in Hillary's camp yeah. and gave her that. <laughs> and, you know, and, and yeah, they, they, they didn't want Donald Trump in office. And so they gave her they gave her Michelle Obama speech yeah, on not? purpose, and he still fucking won. So whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes. Well, I love Mont. I love Melania too. Well, yeah, yeah I, I, I found I found it very interesting how much you guys like. I like. I've never even given that a thought, but that's yeah. you know I've. There's well, so many bigger fish to fry. You don't mind checking out her ass when she's walking up. <laughs> yeah, on the that was amazing. And you, Paul, isn't uh, that funny? No, nope, they have it? no problem checking out her ass. But who was it who tweeted that? It was Paul. Someone we had on the show. Uh, uh, some uh, Paul. Paul. Um. Uh, Mercurio. Paul Mercurio. Paul Mercurio the tweeted. Like, it was so funny. I was looking at the TV at the exact same time he tweeted that. He's like, I can't believe I'm looking at. I'm staring at the first lady's ass. Yeah, and, and I'm the next minute it. they'll call her a bitch, but they have no problem looking yeah, at her I, ass. Like, come on. He didn't it's do that, though. Horrible. He didn't necessarily do that. So don't. Well, and yes, I do have a problem with that. It's like when guys bring strippers on the show and then sort then they kind of th- and then they shame them. Yeah, they shame them. them for being. Yeah. And well, then why did you bring her on the show? Just you know? to make yeah. fun of her and ask her why she's doing it's horrible. It. Yeah. Well, that's why that's uh, one of many reasons why I started Slut Walk. Yes. I wanted to talk. And, awesome. Yes. Which is like that's going to be soon. Like, right. September 30th. Um, right? I- as you know, our daughter told us about this. Our daughter is 16 and she loves you. Yeah. She loves Aww. you. Are you going to bring her to Slut Walk? I would love to. Yeah. She's the one who we're, told Jean about Slut Yeah. Walk. We're, we're, we're in Jersey and I would love to. And we, we were um, in LA last summer and I wanted to stay. Like, I didn't even yeah, want to come. We want to move there totally. I want to be there. Um, I, I would sure. love to be there. I would love to be there. But she, she loves you. Um, her friends love you. You're um, someone That's amazing. Awesome. Amazing. The teenagers, 20 somethings, 30 somethings, 40 something. You're just, um, it's just, uh, it's catching. We got two more years and then Thank the daughter's you. out of high, sc- high school and then those possibilities <laughs> open up. So t- right. tell, us more, t- tell us more about the slut walk because yes. there's people listening that might not know. Yeah, for sure. So um, I I didn't uh, start the slut walk. There's been slut walks all over the world. Right. I just decided to have my own and use my you know platform to bring awareness to it. Um, you know, uh, sl- slut walk is is for rape victims, women that have been sexually assaulted, victimized, victim blamed. So victim blamed is kind of like, well, you shouldn't have wore that outfit and you know, you can't expect guys to not want to touch you if you have a short skirt on, um, you know, just shit like that. Also slut shaming, which is, you know, after the fact, uh, you know, if, if you give a guy head and he gives you head and then he goes around and he's like, yeah, she, she sucked my dick, um, and tries to belittle the, the, the sexual experience, right. um, to shame you. Um, also, you know, derogatory labels, slut, ho, whore, um, you know, those are, those are just words that men and other women use against women to down us for, uh, you know, for our sexuality. Um, and it's complete bullshit. You know, I, I've been called a hoe even when I was a virgin. 
um, because I was beautiful and boys liked me. And I used to like to hang out with the guys all the time because they were more fun, you know? So um, we bring all of those to light. We have counselors there as well. We have free HIV and AIDS testing from AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Um, They're a huge sponsor for us. And, um, you know, September 30th, 30th, excuse me, is the women's conference where we talk about feminism and racism, which a lot of people don't talk about those two things together, but it actually is a thing. Right. Um, And uh, Can uh, can I interrupt you for just a moment? Yeah. While while you're talking, Jean was here, but I went upstairs and got our daughter who does not know that we're going to be speaking with you. We kind of saved it as a surprise. To... She's so her face just so like cool. hit like like just like she oh. love tell um to tell your name. Hi, I'm Maura. And what the who who are you talking to? <laughs> who is this? Do <laughs> you know who you're talking to, Jean? Uh, Maura. Is this Amber Rose? Yes, it is. Actually, it is. It is. Hi. She's flipping. Hi. <laughs> your parents were just telling me that you told them about Slut Walk. Yeah. <laughs> so how did, how did so you hear cool. about it? How did you hear about it? Just like Instagram and stuff. Yeah. That was your friends, right? Yeah. Notice how quiet she got. She's like, so. Oh she loves you. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's so cool. Well, I'm trying to get your parents to, to bring you out here for Slut Walk. Um, we'll have you up in VIP, and you know, you'll have a good, you a great experience. It'll really change your life oh and your parents. God. So, yeah, we, we have that to get her out of high school first, but <laughs> no, we don't. No, you we don't. We can still get there. Yes, that's true. You're it's right. September. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Do you want to ask her anything? Is oh, there anything I you want to ask know. her? Oh. She's on the spot. Yeah, she's on the spot. Well, yeah. Jean, if you can't, just throw You have a bunch of well, questions. We'll, we'll be on the phone for a while, so <laughs> yeah. you can think of something right. and then come and chime back in. Okay, yeah. cool. Yes, uh, Jean. Awesome. Throw, oh, wanna ask one of those questions we got there. Um. So is there anything that you haven't tried? I, I know we were talking before. Is there anything that you haven't tried that you were interested in trying sexually? As soon as you bring the daughter in the room. Too. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. Yes, it's okay. Actually, we're very open with our kids. They know pretty much everything about us. So, yeah, no, cool. Um, hmm. I know. I certainly not a bi guy. I know that. (laughs) Stop it! Oh, you're gonna give me shit forever for that. (laughs) Um, (laughs) um, I know you'll come around. Yeah, I, I, I probably will. Um. I guess, um, well, there's a few things on Dr. Chris's list. I'll say that. One would be anal. I've never tried anal before. Okay. Um, and two well, would Gwyneth probably... Gwyneth Paltrow's about that now. Oh, yeah. Gw- Gwyneth Paltrow's into anal. Yeah. Did you hear about that? Yeah. No, I have not. She has I have a, not. She has a website. I mean, this is 100%. She has a blog called Goop, I think is the name of yeah. it. Yeah. And she, like, the last few <laughs> blogs have been, like, I mean, but, you know, advocating medically, sexually, you know, you know, the experience well, of anal sex. I, I, I had a friend years ago. Um, she, she, I mean, she loved it. Like, she lived by it. She was just like, it's fucking amazing. Like, once you get, you know, used to it, it's amazing. And I just, I don't know. I, I don't think I ever really felt comfortable um, or uh, felt comfortable with a guy to, to actually try that. And then even, you know, my ex-husband was, we, he was very, very traditional. Oh, wow. Um, he, yeah, very, most very guys, traditional. Most guys really want that. <laughs> no, no, he was not. He's a really like, um, he's kind of, uh, I don't know the word for it, but yeah, he just, he was very traditional. He didn't, he never asked me for it. So it was never like a thing. And then, I would say that the number two thing would be a threesome with two guys because my last threesome was with a girl and a guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and I felt like, you know, he had to obviously keep changing the condoms. <laughs> it just oh, took, yeah. it, it just took so long. Yeah. And like it was, it wasn't, it wasn't intimate at all. Yeah. Um, and they were two of my really good friends as well. So like, I felt comfortable in that. Yeah, right. Like yeah, yeah. I wouldn't get judged after and like, no, one, you know, like we were all like still really cool after it wasn't weird, but no, it was not weird. It's okay. still not weird. That's good. That's but good. It's just more so like he had to change the condom for me and then another condom for her. And like, yeah. you know, it was just a lot. It was too technical. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't like it at all. Yeah. We, we've I, I, like, I'm sort of the communicator in the personal ad stuff, you know, in the, in the 
you know, yeah. when you get into this lifestyle, you got to sign up for various websites. So you're always getting communications, but you always see like a lot of particular, it's usually newer people who are like, I want to try a DP and all this stuff that they see in porn. And it's sort, right. it's sort of been our experience that all that shit is made for camera angles. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like in real life, like your back hurts. It doesn't and, look good. Yeah. And, you know, like it's not as it, it's not all that smooth, you know, when you have right, like, two for guys sure. sandwiching a poor woman. The so, idea of it sounds kind of interesting. You no, know, I mean, you can always try it once, but I just I it's it's not it's not going to be the porn, you know, someone's going right. to be complaining and going ow in moments. I'm right. sure it, it looks like that to me. It looks like that when like the double penetration. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. Then if guys are doing double vaginal penetration, essentially their penises are rubbing together. I mean, aren't we but, in gay land? I mean, as a bisexual guy, I don't have a problem admitting <laughs> that, you know? Aren't we now yeah, officially? I mean, guys in... are so, they just feel like, well, it's in a vagina, so it's not gay. And it's, that's <laughs> yeah, like but... literally the, that's the one thing that we get the most on Love Line is like, oh. my husband's into this. Is he gay? Or, you know, uh, strap on. Uh, I, I kind of tried this. Does that make me gay? It's like, no, you're, you're not gay unless you're gay. If you're yeah. attracted to a guy, then, then, you know, you don't even have to say that you're gay. Just say like, "Yo, I fucking tried it and it, it was cool." Well, like, you don't even have to put a label on it. Um, but guys are just—they're weird like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what well, another thing that we sort of discovered that is like a taboo for women to sort of admit that they like gay porn, watching gay porn turns them on as much as guys like watching lesbian porn. Go figure. Yeah. I you know what? I watched a, a a piece, a snippet of gay porn like um my gay friend showed me because I I'd never searched it. Yeah. Um and it was it was cool. I didn't get turned on by it, but my the same friend that liked the anal, she used to like watching porn where um a girl would strap on like a big dildo and fuck a guy. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Um, and she's like, she would come so fast watching that. That was like, you know, th just a girl dominating a, a, a guy was just right. like her shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Um, and even stuff like that, like, like, you know, callers <laughs> will call in and be like, my, my boyfriend wants me to strap on and, and, you know, fuck him in the ass. But does that make him gay? And it's like, what? No. What are you talking about? Like, it's still a heterosexual, um, anything that has to do with the ass and a guy, people just are, are like, that's just gay. And really, guys probably get way more pleasure um, from from their ass than we oh, do. Oh, yeah. And it's oh, good. And yeah. it's good for them, I think, for their prostate. It really is. Exactly. So you're helping exactly. them. Yeah, yeah. They're helping yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, you know, what about a butt plug? What yeah. about what about prostate milking that you have to do when you if you get cancer? You know, there's a there's a porn and that girl does that. And I am just like blown away by that. I have no that words. Is, that is fascinating. I have no words for that. She puts gloves on and she works his prostate and she, it doesn't even touch. She essentially his cock. makes him come without she like ever touch stroking him at all. And yeah. he comes from like, the inside. It's fucked up. I've never seen anything yeah. like that. It is pretty incredible. Our daughter is so gone. So, Jean, let me ask. Jean, our let me daughter ask is question. gone, by the way. Yeah, our, okay, our, she couldn't take it. She's <laughs> anal came up. She's like, I'm turning my she parents' gets, anal. I'm really Amber tired. Rose, I can't process this. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to have good dreams or a nightmare tonight. <laughs> she was so excited to hear. I wish we were rolling Thank video you so for her much. Because she, like, she no, couldn't believe sure. it was you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, um, what are you going to ask me? Go ahead. Okay, Jean, so I have a question. Okay. So, so you guys ultimately been together for 27 years. Yeah. Did you always know that he was bisexual <laughs> from the beginning? Or when when he finally did come out to you, was it shocking? Or no. did you have to kind of... No. Don't say Did you anything. have to get used uh, I, to so, it? I'm so... I got to bite my lip. He wants to try to talk. <laughs> um, There were some... Like, signs yeah the signs were and there were signs and what, I, what about the guy with the first letter t wasn't that the biggest sign oh yeah well that that was when we were younger though yeah but that was when yeah that was pretty See, so there was there was always See, but been that a bit was of hot. denial like, and that's what i remember like i yeah on but on everybody's account you know yeah, what but, i mean yeah but she she was asking me the question though. Okay. 
helping. No, but Dean, so like when when so when he finally came out, you were like, okay, cool, let's try it together. Let's do it together. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm that's just so cool. like he he's. But like, she was always by anyway. But it was always okay because she's but a I girl. I love like wow. I love watching guy like I can watch guys like kiss and like totally turns me on. And like I it I that's just so interesting. I like being a part of it. Like I just like being in the middle of it. I like being touched by people. I mean, I just love it. Like I just, so when he said that and I, and I'm the type, like I'm almost like, oh my God, I'm so fortunate to be married to a bisexual man because there's something like soft, softer, I guess, or. Thanks. No, 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 not, on, I'm not me. I'm you, a you big know what fag. I mean. No, there's like a, maybe it's like the, maybe there's more of a feminine thing because I love women. I just. I don't know. It's just, yeah, you get you kind of get the best of both worlds. I do, and I feel like yeah. fortunate. I'm like, oh my god, I get both. Like I get. I really yeah, do. Yeah. Man one one man. of those things I think that every man should do at least once is go drag, go and drag, dress and drag, head to toe, because it really does put you 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 get a deeper insight into what, what women go through. Aspects yeah. of their psyche, like and how they their sexual, uh, yeah, even, like the, getting dressed. The, is, the yeah. very first thing I realized is, huh, you know, guys really want sex. Women are they are sex. Yeah, we are. You know, they really are. From the moment you start putting stuff on, you start feeling turned on. Right. It's, it's amazing. True. It's like, true. It's true. It's true. And you know, it's it's so crazy that you said that. Me and my mom were talking about that earlier, like how guys don't understand. So uh, my security. Um, has like kidney stones. Oh, no. um, and that's how the whole conversation started because he was getting like really bad pains and cramps. I was like, yeah, well, we deal with that every fucking month for five yeah. days. So, you know, like, um, and then we just start talking about how guys have no idea, you know, what it's like to have heavy boobs and be pregnant mm -hmm. and like, you know, but onto what you were saying, like being sexy, um, my friend, China, my best friend, China, um, you know, I bought her like a $350 pair of thongs and I said, China, you have to wear these and you're going to feel like a totally different person. And just putting like expensive lingerie on just makes you feel like you instantly get wet and fucking turned on oh, wow. by yes. yourself. It's true. <laughs> like literally by yourself, like to put on sexy lingerie, you're just like. Oh my god, I'm fuck I'm I'm turning myself on instantly. I, I mean right. at least that's how it is for me. Right. So I can imagine a guy that puts it on, it's it, it probably is the same feeling. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, and I mean, how like but you you also get more of a female perspective as you put it on because, you know, obviously the guy never wore this shit and it's satiny and it's always softer and yeah. You yeah. Get, you get yeah, the idea. Yep. Yeah. For sure. For sure. So what, give me a, give me another good question. <laughs> I'm I'm ready. I'm sitting here. I'm ready. Okay. Well, I, from the bisexual perspective, I mean, it's been my experience. The more I break down the behavior of bisexual men and bisexual mm -hmm. women, the irony is <laughs> it's really the same. They're 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 usually they usually have a primary partner who's the opposite sex. But yet, mm -hmm. you know, they they have the wandering eye towards the opposite sex. I mean, the same sex. And, right. you know, that that never went away for me, you know. And my first sexual experience was with a guy. But I also knew I liked girls. So it was always very confusing. Yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah. So I've always known I like. Yeah. And we've had this talk with, like, Bob Hawk and stuff. And, you know, there's a even in the gay community, there is a bit of bisexual men even more so than women are mm -hmm. are like gay on installment but it's so not true you know just the same way yeah. bisexual women aren't gay on installment right 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 so, i understand so that's why i think that all women should stop having threesomes with straight guys unless those guys are by and we'll have, <laughs> have you know a three-way with listen, them. I, but listen, I, I, I get it because, you know, for, like, I get it. I, to I totally, totally get it. Because I feel like, you know, a, like, I want to have a threesome with two guys, right? Yeah. And it's like, 
it's almost like they can't even get close to each other if they're yes. both straight because yes. then it's like, yes. you know, and then it's going to get and on that... my nerves because I'm going to be like, seriously, guys. Like, really? <laughs> and notice they're, you know, not, like, just... they're not willing to do for you what you're willing to do for them. And I don't get why bisexual yeah, but women they would keep be so doing this. quick in a relationship to be like, yo, can we bring another girl in? I'm like, no, can we bring another guy in? And they're like, well, fuck no, that's crazy. Like I, I would never. And I'm like, well, you're asking me to do that. But right, you won't do that. Right. Exactly. I totally exactly, get it. Exactly. Maybe I maybe I will get a bisexual boyfriend now. Woo! You should. I think I'm, a, <laughs> I think I'm available, aren't I? No. <laughs> we're available. Woo! Yeah, we'll be right there. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're the best of both worlds. <laughs> so so no, let me ask you a question. You have no so idea. <laughs> so it, you guys, because you do everything together, right? Mm-hmm. Is there ever a time where you know? Scott, you would be like, hey, you know, I kind of want to go off and just fuck this girl or guy by myself. We we have kind of rules. So but like, you, you've had that. You've had someone come over while I haven't wasn't here. Yeah, we have same sex is essentially a freebie. You know, like you don't need prior permission, if you will. Just so long okay. as you're being honest and you're, you know, hey, I had a guy come over today. It was awesome kind of thing. Yeah. And then it's great because then we can talk about it later. and have Yeah. To- to do you know do you know whatever we want but later that doesn't like your... happen super frequently right it, it, right i think the stereotype you know like you think that it happens a lot more than it does because everything you know but i mean do you have to give her the heads up or you could tell her after oh only if it's the after. only way i mean if if it's pre-planned there's no reason not to tell her you know what i mean like hey on monday yeah know. but right. what if it wasn't same sex what do you do then uh, first of all, that doesn't happen. That doesn't, yeah. <laughs> that doesn't it really happen. doesn't. It like, really I doesn't. Just... Women don't cheat. What do you mean women? Yeah, women usually, don't cheat usually, the way. Usually women don't. Usually. Yeah. They really usually. don't. It's been my experience. It's it's the guys. It's the married guys. And closet. they're all closet by. Right. Or many of them are. Right. So, question. Sorry. No, um, oh, no, I like asking you asking questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> so are do, are you guys? No, ever she's concerned? no, she's become the interviewer. <laughs> I know. I can't help it. I, can't I help like it. it. I, I like know. It. This... I I always kind of take over sometimes. Sorry, it happens okay. um, every time you have a podcaster on. This kind of happens. Yeah. Okay. So, are you guys ever concerned with STDs and bringing something back home? We both. I mean. We know enough to play it safe. Yeah. So, Where you, you yeah. use like protection. And all yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Not worried about But that. I mean, as far as like HPV and herpes and stuff like that, that's skin to skin contact. So right. you, you, you don't even fuck around with like just grinding or having a moment where it's not penetration. At, um, at but some it, it's always... point, you got to say what the fuck. You know yeah. what I mean? Like even if you were dating at some point, you would have to say, you know, right. g- give the person the once over. And generally... You know what you notice in the in the community and any lifestyle, like all the body hair gets removed. You know what I mean? Like, right, it's, it's right. sort of easy to give people the once over. Yeah. And if yeah. it isn't, then usually I'm not turned on by that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. Yeah, way way too much. We have, hair. you know, that's a basic rule. You don't want to put your ma- you, you want to clean up someplace somebody's going to put their mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, well, okay. So that's the thing for me that I love pubic hair. Oh, men. really? Really? Oh my god. Yeah. The the bigger, the better. I love it. Wow. I think this is happening love, now. That is so cool. I, think I love this is like the full reaction to the nineties. Hair, like, oh my god, it's so sexy. Just the way it smells and just like the natural scent. Um, I I love it. And like my friends, they make fun of me and shit. But yeah. um, that's that's kind of like my thing. Even like underarm, like. S- smell wow. like mixed with deodorant obviously not just like stinky <laughs> but just a natural a natural scent is just that it, it turns me on like a masculine scent yeah like, okay, um, about- and you really get that from hair like i don't like i don't like a guy that fully manscapes that is the very reason i can't stand body hair on me at least is because that's yeah. to me that's all i see it as hey here's a thing that just soaks up odor yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's sexy to me. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it I get that. On... I get that. It depends on the guy, but I so like that Burt too. So Burt Reynolds, like, I like 1970s, is that, is that a, <laughs> no. with, you know, the That's head? fucking hot. See? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I got you. I, I dialed in. 
<laughs> it's really it's super hot to me. I, I just I like that. I, I always it. have. That's... So even when I, even when I do like if I'm but in a relationship on. with a guy, here's the true I, test. I would t- I would ask him to grow it out for me. Here's right. the true ha- test: back hair. Back hair is different, though. That's not new. not really. Yeah, not really into back hair. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> that's where that's where know, all the love of hair stops when it grows different. on the back or ass hair. <laughs> Suddenly it's like, oh, he's turning into the fly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. This shit is coarse. I don't I don't, us- us- I don't run into guys that usually have back hair though. I, you, I, I don't think I ever That's because really you're had young. That. You're young, but like it happens <laughs> yeah. to yeah. guys. I've da- no, I've dated I've dated I've dated older men. Yeah. I, like, well then for sure I've dated then they're probably <sighs> taking care of it or they're you know, but it's just of, not in their black, biology. But a lot of black men. Yeah, don't have hair on their back. They Very don't. They're, true. They don't have a lot of hair. Yeah, they, they don't, don't have hair on their um, chest. I, yeah, I date white men as well. Um, um, and the white guys that I that I have dated, they don't usually have back hair either. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't know. I never really Maybe had that's... an opportunity to kind of run into that. <laughs> it's a horrible affliction. Let me tell you. That's why we take care of these things. Yeah, I guess it depends. Like maybe it's like you know Italian men. I don't know what it is, but I, I'm not. I, know, I don't want. I don't have it. I'm you know. It's like my just... last, my last boyfriend was Russian. Um, he was from he was from the Ukraine, uh-huh. and he just he didn't have hair really. A little bit on his chest, but nothing on his back or nothing like yeah. that. They really he's, say it's associated in his thirties. It's associated with the same like hormones that give you male pattern baldness. Really? So around the same uh, time that those kick in, yeah, that's when like you'll start. Growing right. back hair, ear hair. Some like chest hair, hair is sexy. Just like being able to put like your hands on. Yeah, I know. When I, used to I, grow... I like I like chest hair oh, as well. He, I think you, that's sexy. When that... I grow it, when I used to grow it out, she used to. Oh my god! I used to it. just lay there and just like rub on it and like put my yeah, face it's like in a it. bear. I know. It's like a bear. I love fat. it face in it and just See, like rub all over. It's funny. It. It's like, but it's I so... love both. Like here's I love... the thing. Like during the nineties, when when you know I was in my twenties. And I was hairy. Women hated that shit. They all wanted the fucking like nerd guy. The nerd guy. <laughs> the, the waxed guy. Yeah, the yeah. douchebag. Yeah. The douchebag. As, yeah. as I got older and yeah. hair just generally became grosser to me just because I, you know, it's stinky. Like I said, it gets coarse. It's weird. Yeah. I wanted to, you know, so I started removing it. That's right. when women start going, oh, a hairy chest is so hot. Oh, so now, I can never win. Okay, now I have a question for you, Amber. Do you like mm-hmm. women with a little bit of hair or do you like women clean? Like, or does it uh, matter to you? I, I, I like hair on women as well. Right. So it sounds like you're into hair. You're, you like hair. hair. Like... Very cool. That, that's all Although I don't have any, which is. Yeah. 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 But yeah, I. I, I always like imagine an... that about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no I mean, hair. no, for for me, because I was a stripper for Such a, a lot of years. Um, so I kind of have a routine. Every time I get in the shower, I shave. Right. I do that, too. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, like, it's kind of like my thing. Like, I, I like to be smooth. I just got used to it. But if, if I, you know, I'm single right now. But if I was to deal with a guy and he liked that, I would grow it out in a second. Yeah. Um, I actually just grew it out for my bull because i'm single too but i i grew out my pubic hair for a slut walk photo shoot awesome um, awesome well, coming soon so stay tuned well, well you do um, have jeans D- digits about that single situation so you know yeah. <laughs> right <laughs> hint 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 right you listen I, I get to the east coast often so uh ah. don't yes. play with me that's like, just like uh, yeah. Don't just tease like me. Q. Don't tease me anymore. No, I yeah. definitely we'll we'll definitely trib. I would I love. Oh my god! Oh my god! I just you have no <laughs> idea. Uh, Wait a minute! Can that be the bump for the show? Oh my god! Can it that is be now. the bump for the show? It is now. Is that you a legal no, contract somehow? You have no idea. <laughs> can I get your signature on something? Alexa, did you hear that? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's so funny, me me and China, like, everyone thinks that we like have sex with each other and we don't. But how can you but not? We... She's beautiful too. <laughs> no, she's she's gorgeous. But we, we always fuck around and I'm like I'm like China bitch, when I see you, I'm gonna ch- fucking trip the fuck out of you. Sure. She's like, What is that? And I like looked it up. And you so have no she, idea. <laughs> she looked it up and she was crying. She was laughing so hard. She was like <laughs> So now that's our new thing that we're gonna just trip each other all the time. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, just... she... She's mm-hmm. absolutely gorgeous. She has two kids. She's, She's not a fucking stretch mark. Nothing like the, the, her stomach is like, I mean, I'm like, I can't. It took me it took me two years to lose the baby weight. 
Right. Yeah. And this girl just popped back into place like right. like it was nothing. And don't you just like, like look that at woman her? the other night? I was oh my god, for. there was a woman, Amber, and her husband on the pole at this party. She was so fucking unbelievable. Mm-hmm. I really sat on the sofa. I mean, you know, Scott was there. Shout out to Neil and Mika. I just um was staring. I just could I was just staring like staring at this woman on the pole the whole night pretty much. Yeah. She was unbelievable. Yeah, they were hot. Yeah. <laughs> so let me let me ask and you a I question. Didn't need, I didn't need to touch her. I was yeah. just like watching her, and it yeah. was like I was like there was no one else there. It was yeah. just me and her. Well, she didn't the know that. Perfect, perfect. I mean, she like, really the was perfect body. She really was amazing. And I, the thing is, too, she was more like of an exhibitionist kind of. I think. <laughs> more, think? No, I don't know if she wanted to be touched by anyone. She just wanted to show herself to everyone. But kinda. you can also tell when. St- Dancing and sex, have, to me, have always had a close link. Oh, God, yeah. And you can just tell when someone moves that, man, this person gets it, you know? She totally like, They got get it. the dancing and sex. They're closely linked. Yeah. And she got me. When they're making fire. faces and shit, you know? It's like, yeah. oh, man. All she was, she, just, she was just staring at the guy she was with, and he was, his dick must have been, like, <laughs> exploding in his yeah. pants. I she just, was amazing. <laughs> what were you going to ask me? <laughs> um, I was going to ask you... Um, uh, is there ever any black couples or Hispanic couples that you guys deal with? I just feel like in the in the uh, minority community, um, it's not as open to be swingers. That's... So I don't. We were um, we were at a party actually, um, and we actually just got a message from a really cute couple. Yeah, that's that's what we were just referring yeah. to actually. Yeah. And they they were yeah they're they were the hottest couple on the dance floor like so and, and they were and they were black oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. we literally had like I, oh my god we it's... pursued them sort of not stalkery but like we ha- we had to <laughs> well, say Scott, something Scott mentioned her and I was like ooh and he's he's really yeah cute and then too. yeah and then you saw her boyfriend or hus- turns out her husband oh it is her husband yeah 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 so and uh, yeah so when you went into couples do you have to ask like. You know, is your husband bisexual? Is he? Yeah, just, yeah. There know? is there is a bit of that. Yeah, you, you kind of have to figure out, you know, who's on, who's on. What yeah. I don't know or, that about them though. Uh, we don't know about that. Well, I do. I just we haven't we haven't had the moment to run all that down yet. Okay. We also have to make mm-hmm. we also have to make some plans. That would be great. <laughs> I really like. I this like is them happening. both. This is this is this is Ooh, this, this is, is fun. Like, we haven't even done it yet. We'll be able to tell you the next time. You have to come on the show <laughs> again. Report. We'll tell you all about it. I can. We can, We'll send you a picture. Ooh, oh are you okay? okay. Yeah. For or is sure. that the baby? Amber Rose is choking on our podcast. Ah. Oh, <laughs> it's my it's my little boy. Oh, that's, that's what I thought. That sounded like a kid call. <laughs> Oh, yeah, my parent baby. hearing is kicking in. Yeah, that's a bit. Aw. Yeah. It's been Love a while. My little pumpkin. He's so cute. I need to give you a treat. Okay, buddy, go inside. I'll be right in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, usually there's some negotiation, some menus. Uh-huh. I mean, we use a particular site that is. I mean, people bust its balls, and yeah, right. it could be better, but. It's one of the safer ones. You know, it's one of the more legitimate ones. Right. Yeah. And and if people, you know, use their profile the way you should, most of the research is done up front. You know what right. I mean? But No, for sure. For sure. Now, but, what what is it like you, um, you, you were asking about, like, African-American c- couples? What do you think it is that about that? Like, they're not in we, the swing community as much. We run into a few, and we run into by guys. But, again, it's always they're on the DL, you know, you right. have to. Right. They usually approach well, it's us because we're a, open. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing, and you know, um, with black and Hispanic men, it's just it's it's almost harder for them to come out. Yeah, oh, I yeah, see what yeah, you mean. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, it, you know. Um, yeah, we know. Just, I, I don't know. I was just curious. Yeah, there we are some sexy. That, wait, guys. hang on. We know that we get fewer dates. Because we're like we're both listed on our particular site as as openly bi. Right. Most guys, even if they're bi, you know, they list as straight. Because... And that's a fact, though, that that we get less dates because of that. Oh, definitely, by far. Yeah. But we. Right. We, but we will. Get... So is that kind of like is that kind of like off limits for you if you you know if you get a couple and the guy isn't bi, you're just kind of like ah. Eh. 
I don't really want to do it. But usually what happens, it depends. It depends on the situation. The co- It's all, yeah. it's case by case. But really, honestly, it never gets that far. Most guys see that you're a bi guy. And it doesn't matter how hot Gene is. They run. They right. run screaming. And I don't know why, because it's not like, because I'm bi, like what's going to happen? Like you're going to turn him gay? Well, or either A, you know, like... The same way I wouldn't force myself on a woman. Right. I wouldn't force myself on a guy. What the fuck do they think you're going to do? Like whip uh, your dick out and stick here, it in their ass? I think they're more worried about that they're going to lose yes, control. Yes, that they're going to like Want to suck my dick or something. Yeah. Right. That's, right, true. that's right. really true. Oh, there's a guy. There's a bi guy here. I'm tempted. Yeah. But we're like open to straight. I mean, we'll yeah. we'll play with straight. Yeah. Straight. We, again, we have to it's, like the people. They have, have to a, be cool. There's a vibe that a straight guy will give off that I know right away that I will be like, no, this is not going to work out. We generally don't get along with people our own age or older. We usually find ourselves getting along with like people ten years younger. Yeah. 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 So if you're so if you're with if you're with a, another bi couple, but the guy is straight, then you guys would basically just take turns. With each other's wives or that, their girlfriend. That wouldn't necessarily be a bi couple. That would be a couple with a bi wife. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah that's what I mean. That's yeah, what I yeah, mean. yeah. Like and the again, guy's straight and the wife is bi. Yeah, I mean. So it, you would. So then th- I, th- there would be no play between you and the guy, but you guys would just kind of take turns with the girls and kind of. Yeah, or yeah, interact yeah, at yeah, all. Exactly. Or the girls would be together. It, it'd be your standard do... porn situation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your standard porn. <laughs> guys don't touch. <laughs> I, I, I and so how often so how often do you guys just have sex with just we you, i mean we just li- him oh, and I? I, oh, oh my god yeah. like three four times a week yeah it's, that's a lot it's funny yeah. the lifestyle it's like sex breeds sex but and, like you have so more healthy. after you have more before you have more yeah. <laughs> talking about what you did i mean right and it's like so watching porn fun. Like, I'll watch porn. Like, I love porn, like, two guys. And then there's a girl, like, jerking off in the corner. I'm like, oh, my God, this is the best porn ever. Certainly I would want to be in that porn. Why can't I be the girl who's jerking off watching two guys in a porn? Like, I want to be in that. <laughs> well, I mean, you can be, <laughs> I guess. I, we'll have to find you an agent and stuff. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's not but put like, the cart in front of the horse here. No, but, but what I'm saying is that, to me, like, you, she's having fun. But she's, yeah. like, it's like... Yeah, it's I mean, it's like the best of both worlds, kind of. Yeah, yeah. So. We'll do that no, for sure. <laughs> it's all good. It's all. <laughs> it's funny in the Just, lifestyle. Um... What you start to realize is you have to take words out like weird and yeah. condemn, you know, and, and shame. Yeah, weird. Obviously, weird is a word that you don't realize how much you say it. Yeah, and until you start talking to people about sex, and then they say something, and you go, "Wow, that's weird," and then and you instantly like, feel no, like a not. jerk no, because you know, weird. like, what do I like? Yeah, and then you have to check, right. like, stop, stop saying weird, stop yeah, saying weird. It's not weird. It's just something it's just, that's yeah. different from what I'm used to. Like, we're not really into BDSM. We're not into exhibitionism. No, you know, I yeah. just don't like when someone like. And we were at a party not too long ago, and there was this girl, like, sexy as hell girl. That was being spanked like so hard, like over and over and over again. And then I started getting upset. Yeah. Like, like I was like, just like, on. you know what? I don't really it like It was almost this. abusive. I was yeah. feeling that. But she was liking it. But so I was like, but I was it's feeling It's her thing, it, you know? But like, I was feeling it for her, but I didn't need to because she like, liked it. I don't it's know. Like the like feet I was, thing. As soon, I, even reading about it in ads like gets me, ooh, you want to suck my feet? Dude. Yeah, but, you should, but that same girl, was. she wasn't sucking my feet, but she was like playing, rubbing my feet. But she did it in a way that I liked. But a lot oh. of people like that. But I don't normally like it. But what the thing is, if you're open minded enough, you'll find a person that you like it with. Exactly. Especially right. when you got some websites like Fet Life and yeah. you know, other sites now. Yeah. It's cool. Like if you're open enough. It's an interesting world. Yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting world out there. The best so, thing about all this though is You guys that- are listen, you guys are very inspiring. I'll tell you that. I mean I mean, seriously, well, I don't I don't run into like swingers often. Um, First of all, here's another thing. Just we hate the we we understand why those words exist. Well, but, and I use it, too. But I they use are the word swingers. we hate all the term terminology. Yeah, for sure. Like swapping. Like to me, that's a disgusting term. But, you know, when you're in the community, if you got to sp- just to get it's communication, a quick way to, yeah, like, to sum up what you mean, yeah, we do soft swap. I get it, I get it, I get but it. it but it, sure. all of it is gross. Even the swinging term, it's like I, I we gravitate towards lifestyle. 
but it works for the show title. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Well, no, I mean, I told you that's that's why you know when 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 I felt bad to say that I was bisexual when I was younger. Yeah. Because you know people put a stigma on it on exactly what it is, and it's like, well, that's not how I live, but. Okay, you know what I mean? Like if I had to say that I do like guys and girls and trans men or even trans women as well, um, you know, I guess I'm bisexual, but don't put me in a category of like this is exactly what bisexuals do. Yeah. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Do you um do you want to share all of your all the places we can find you? Yeah. Sure. Um, so you can follow me on Instagram at Amber Rose, on Twitter at the DA Real Amber Rose. Um, Facebook is at the Real Amber Rose as well. Um, I'm not re- very prevalent on Facebook. Right. Um, that's more of like a fan page. Um, my Twitter is linked to my Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is the one that I'm on the most. Right. I, I have to. 15 million followers <laughs> and Mara is one of them, our daughter. <laughs> yeah. And you can, um, and you can find everything about slut walk on Amber Rose, slut mm-hmm. Um, if you're, you know, uh, all the, for all the listeners, if you can donate, it is a nonprofit. It's a amazing cause. Um, are there, are know, there I, still ways to like volunteer too, if people want to volunteer? Yes. If time? you would like to volunteer, of course, go to the website, hit volunteer. Um, you can come and volunteer, um, and to donate, just hit donate. We made sure the website is very easy to navigate. Um, and and honestly, ten dollars is the minimum. If you can donate ten dollars, mm-hmm. um, it you know it helps us get the counselors that we need. Um, it also helps with you know staging security we want to make sure that it's a safe place for women to come and wear whatever they want yep 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 um and so people can't you know come in and and try to hurt any of us yep. uh, you don't toilets. want any, yeah you don't want what oh, no. happened in fucking england or anything no. like crap like None that. Of that yeah too. i mean i mean really you know we we pay for a lot of things and uh, the misconception about slut walk is that i make a shitload of money right. from mm-hmm. it um I don't make a dollar. I make nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, we still aren't profitable every year. This is the third annual one. So we really just depend on uh, donations and sponsors. Mm-hmm. If they want to be a sponsor as well, if they have, um, you know, anything, Maybe clothing line, yeah. you know, whatever they want to do, um, just just go to AmberRoseSaltWalk.com. There is another email on there for Sex Productions. Um, if they want to get more involved and be actually a part of the slut walk. Oh, great. Uh, yeah. And so this year we're walking a full mile. The past two years we walked about three blocks. Mm. Um, this year we're walking a full mile. And then we have a full festival at Pershing Square, downtown L.A. for the whole rest of the day. We have oh. live performances. We have um, speakers. We have um you know, really uh, famous activists that are coming through. Um, yeah, so it's it's going to be a really great day. So if you can, if anyone can donate, that would be amazing. And, and you guys as well, $20, $25, $10, okay. $100, whatever you can afford. Yes. Excellent. Um, would, would be amazing. It would help out a lot. Now, is there a time that everybody needs to register by? Yeah. Is there like a, or when it like starts for it? Um, I feel like, everything is detailed on the website oh, okay gotcha. it's okay, really cool. easy i mean but you know um we're we're accepting donations literally up to that uh, uh, up to slut walk because even if we don't use it we can always use it for next year's slut walk oh yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah um as well and then um to volunteer um it should have the date on there where you know um the cutoff point is so great and slut walk yep. is a registered tra- uh, charity and all that good stuff. So if anyone had any concerns about donating, they wouldn't have to worry about any of that stuff. No, and I'm yeah, sure that's um, all on the website. Yep. Yes. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> all the information's on the website. It is a nonprofit. Um, um, if you want to know where your money is going, we have that on the website as well. If you yeah. have any, you know, concerns or whatever, all your questions will be asked on uh, answered. Excuse me, on the website. Yes. Cool. Just trying to help yep. you out there. Cover your. Have your butt legally. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Thank you for that. No problem. Now, tell us about your book before you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so my book, my book, How to Be a Bad Bitch. Um, <laughs> I love it. It came, it came out probably two years ago. 
Um, it's still selling like, so basically by word of mouth, people read it and then they pass it off or they buy it, you know, for birthdays and and Christmas and stuff like that, because it's, it's, it became a bestseller, New York times bestseller. Um, it's still out there like strong. Is there an audio book for it? It's so strong. It's so strong. There is an audio book. Yes. There is an audio book. Yes. Um, there is an audio book. I narrated it myself. Okay. I love love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, it took me. It took me a long time because it has to be like perfect, yes. you know, English. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, so it's uh, narrated by me and um, it really is inspiring. It's my upbringing, um, but it's also, you know, how to take care of your finances, how, you know, how to, you know, be a bad bitch on a budget. Right. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of great elements to it. It's also the vision of yourself, which is most important. Right. Um, knowing the vision of yourself, who you want to be, how you want to look, go with it, you know, don't conform to society norms, live your true life and exactly who you are. Right. Um, so yeah, I, I talk about all that in my book. Um, I'm very, very proud of my book. I really am. So how to be a bad bitch. Um, you can literally get it anywhere. Um, yeah, you can. can. Can I ask you how many people are, how many times have you met someone and they say, you know, your book changed my life? Uh, a, a million. <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I'm at you know the grocery store and <laughs> girls come up to me, um, all the time and, you know, it really, uh, I put a lot into that book. I really yes. opened up. Um, a lot of myself in that book. You should yeah. be proud I'm of actually, it. It's amazing. I'm actually thinking about writing another book as awesome. we speak. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's it's really really a great book. If you feel if you're feeling insecure, if you're feeling down about yourself, um, if you just need a little uplifting, How to Be a Bad Bitch will definitely help <laughs> you love, with that. I love that. I love that. Sure. I'm drawing such a parallel because one of those a book very much like the one sounds like you've written. Uh, written by another celebrity who was essentially passing on advice, sort of changed my life. Who was that? That would be Kevin Smith. And what, what was his, his title? His book was uh, Tough Shit. Uh, <laughs> life advice for from a fat, lazy slob who <laughs> did well. <laughs> I mean, no, but listen, you know, in, in my book, I, I, feel like, <clears throat> I feel like being a celebrity um, and, you know, the difference with me is that I didn't, I grew up very, very poor. Yeah. I was homeless with my mother uh, at 15 years old. You, you were in Philly. You, you were in Philly, uh, right? Yeah, I was in Philly. My Ooh. mother was a waitress. Um, she suffered from depression and anxiety. Mm. And, um, you know, I didn't grow up very privileged. I, you know, so I do talk about body positivity as well. Um, you know, whether you're heavy or you're skinny, uh, I don't want you to look to me as a role model. I don't want you to emulate me. I want you to be yourself and be comfortable in your own skin. And I have to tell um, you, that's that's a lot of what you've done for my daughter. She's I, she's that's awesome. She, <clears throat> as a guy, I I am just so happy to see that slut shaming is being addressed and through you know like. The girls over there, you know, Corinne and... and uh, oh, Corinne and Christina. Over at... Uh, you were fl- great on their show, too. Yeah, like, I think you helped put yeah, them on the map, you. which I think helped put this issue more on the map right. and in the public consciousness. Right. And I it, mean, you know, what's, you know what's crazy and what hurts my feelings the most is that, like, I felt like, you know, I was kind of the only celebrity that was really out there talking about feminism and slut shaming and rape culture. And, you know, I've reached out to so many celebrity females and they just would not come to slut walk. Wow. And and then I see them at the women's March with all these, and it's literally the same exact thing. It just has a different name. It has the word slut in it. It didn't have slut walk. Yeah. It didn't have slut in it. And, and, that that is the problem. You know what I think that is though. Exactly what the problem is. I think the turnout's going to be bigger this time. I really do it because will be. a fire has been lit. You know, like after the Trump victory, everybody sort of woke up yeah. from oh shit, this can happen. Yeah, the sluts where will, were we? We were all asleep. Yeah. All the sluts will be coming. Well, I seen I seen a sign where a girl said, uh, "Thanks Trump, you turned me into a feminist." You yeah. know, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. And I seen the women's march and they were holding up my pussy, my choice. And I'm like, this is literally slut walk. But half of these women would not show up to my slut walk because I guess their PR said, you know, it wasn't a good look. The first year, 
I'll, I'll just I'll say this and then we'll go. OK. The, the first year I literally, you know, asked all of my rich friends for money. Oh, I, wow. I just scrolled through my phone and I was like, I need money to get this started. Please you. help me. You know, and I was just like the worst thing they could say is no. And I wrote right. that in my book. I love that always, attitude. That's the best always attitude. Always ask for, yeah. You have to always ask for it because because, yeah. it's, because the they worst might thing, actually say yes. The worst yeah. thing they could say is no. It's so yeah, true, yeah, yeah. and that's everything in life. That's why we it's asked you so to be on the true. show. I know. We asked you to be on the show, and you said yes. And here I am. Yes, I'm so grateful. You don't know. You've been how much an awesome this guest. Means. I love the fact. I I love to to hear someone sort of agree with. Uh, because I feel bad when I call out white women for falling asleep. Yeah, but but she knows that you're not talking to her specifically. You're yeah, talking about as a group, a group it of white women like... that are almost representing white women in a in a really bad light. What you don't well, say my, is you've been divided is... so that right. you can be conquered. Right. That's the truth. Right. Like I that... mean, I also I also look. I mean, I don't consider myself a white woman. I don't consider myself a black woman. Right. I'm biracial a multiracial right um and so i kind of fit into like a, a very different category where i feel like um i i, I can relate to everyone yeah. as well well that's like um being bi i think makes me not just a white guy right <laughs> yeah right no that's so true it's so true um but um you see oh, oppre- you, you see that. it's because you see oppression. I've been called a faggot. I've been called a cocksucker. So I know what it's like right. to be slurred, right. you know? Right. Uh, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've been around I've been around white people that just assume that I was white cuz I'm I'm very light skinned um and I dye my hair blonde. So um you know, I've I've been around white people that that talked about black people very negatively um assuming that you know, they didn't even know what I was. And so, um, I, and they I've were talking both... about them in front of you, just like, like, just thinking that. You yeah, were... I mean, yeah. obviously, this is before I was famous. Yeah. Before people, the old, you know, knew who I was. And the so... old look over the shoulder. I don't see any black people. Hey. Yeah. Exactly. But hello, I'm sitting right here. But I've here. been in situations like that where you know I had to be like, "Are you fucking serious?" Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. that's um, so uncomfortable yeah. and wrong. And and vice versa because you know my dad is white. Right. And my dad is military and he was an MP. He was a police officer, a white police officer um, at one time, military police. And, you know, so when they talk about white cops and stuff like that, I'm like, yo, you can't say that about every police officer. You can't say that about every white guy that's in the military. Like, I see both sides to no, everything. Th- you know? Those problems aren't of individuals. The problems there are institutional ones. Right. You know, right. It's, it's the system. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Well, thank thanks you guys. I thank you I, I so really, much. You guys are so amazing, and you <laughs> really you. inspired thank me. Oh. Um. And so let's keep in touch. Yes. I'll, Most um, def. For sure, and uh, and I'll definitely see you guys at Slut Walk. Yeah, okay. we're gonna have to make that happen now, aren't we? And you you made my night and my daughter's night, and yes. um, she's still like probably upstairs. Like, <laughs> what were they doing talking to Amber? Because yeah. she kind of knows, <laughs> sure. well, because she kind of knows about the show. But it's like, well, how much do they really want to know? Yeah, about us? we're their parents. You know what I mean? We don't have to spell it out. She doesn't want to <laughs> know that I'm looking some girls like pussy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? No like, details need to be. Yeah. That's not <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't exactly. want to know that. But they if she know... does eventually hear about it, it's okay because there's nothing wrong with it. They but just know. We're a lot happier. Yeah, it's like they for don't really sure. want to hear like the all of the all of the. Fun. Thank you so much for being on the show <laughs> and giving us your Thank time. Thank you. You're beautiful and lovely, and we're so happy that you were on. Thank you. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye, Talk Amber. to you guys soon. Bye. 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 Amber Rose, everybody. Ooh, ah, she oh my God, screensavers on, that? or I will give her fake applause. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Can you believe that? I, you know what? I'm still like. I can't. It was like an out of body experience. Again, it's. I feel sort of guilty because going in. I mean, I know who Amber Rose is, but it's. But you really didn't, did you? Well, I didn't. I, I don't want to say I wasn't a fan per se, but you know, I didn't. Yeah, I see her more as a female icon and that yeah. kind of thing. So you know, she's she's just not my pool. You know, she's not. Yeah. She's not my wheelhouse. Right. As the expression. But now she is. But she was so. Maybe that helped because I had no preconceived yeah. and and but I, I thought she was a really cool person right i thought she was a really cool person and it does take some guts to like know like if you've just been called out in the media and i i did know about that and i have to say you know there was a little bit of me that would want you know 
in advance, when I heard about that, was like, what the fuck? Yeah, why is she first, like that? Yeah, at first, I remember mentioning it to you. Yeah, you yeah. Did know and I that. was like, why is that? Yeah, That's but a, uh, she... But she... But so when we're... I mean, just talking to her... She laid it out. And yeah, it was, and we talked, and I don't agree with her reasoning. I think... She, again, but I think she's young, and, you know... But she, she explained has to, it. She explained it, and she's not closed off to it either. Yeah, she's, she's far more evolved than we were well, at her age. Yeah, and she's evolving. <laughs> like twenty years from now, she'll be a de- totally. But it's, so my hat is off to her. Yeah, she is inspiring to and us. And that took a lot of guts, expecting... essentially, to come on and right. and I, she doesn't know me. I could have totally. been like, "You're a it's fucking so, bitch. Who are you totally. to fucking blah blah blah?" <laughs> you know? Yeah. But and, I I had no intention. No, and you didn't feel that you had to because no. she's. I felt there was more that we could probably identify with right. each other about There's than totally. we could we could uh, yeah. that we that we have far more in common than right. that we have different. And come on, you get more flies. With and honey. dude, when she said she wanted and to trib you, I, I, I literally, yeah, my fucking dick for, moved. There's more chance for tribbing. There's more chance <laughs> oh, for tribbing if you don't argue with the person. Oh okay? my god! Listen, oh my that god. woman. If that woman. Oh my god! I can't even. You have no idea. Mm. Mm. You just mm. don't. I just it's so funny too that she's asking so about she was beautiful. asking about you know uh, but have you ever been with any African American couples who were like shit the couple we we're just talking about is American oh African American yeah, is so hot as fuck so sexy both yes. of them yes and again by all accounts that seems to be proceeding quite well so both both of them are yeah and they're so and for no, no, no 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 they're not they're they're not both she is but he's not but uh, we'll figure that out he's uh, not what bye no they're both. Um, Black. Yeah. Oh, yes. Black. They're both black. Yes. That's right. Duh. Okay. I was thinking. See, I didn't even like, think about it I that way. I looked at them really well. I don't, I, think they were... I don't see color. I'm like Stephen Colbert. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't see color. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> what I see are two very hot people. Anyway. Yeah. Uh... And, that, and she talked about that a lot. She knows. She sees what she likes. And she knows what she likes. And that's the. It's the whole, like. Yep. That's really, the whole meaning of all of this. I very much enjoyed talking with too. her. too. And she's kind. I mean, because you and just a, because you're like as a bi- bisexual male, I, she's officially forgiven. So the bi the bi yes. male community can accepted. now take my word. <laughs> yeah. I, on behalf of all of us. Oh my god! Really? And let's face I it, most of you are in the closet anyway, <laughs> and are never gonna fucking would never say shit. You're too afraid. Aww. But so. But you she's can forgiven. though. You know that. <sighs> you can. Yes. <laughs> Who knows? We might make Gawker. Oh no, Gawker doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't. Is that fake news? This is the kind of shit that would... You no, know, Gawker was the one that got run out by the by the uh, billionaire who didn't like them, so he sued them into non Oh, my God, that's right. yeah. that's Which sad. stinks, because we I made we Gawker did. once with the the Hitchbot, oh, the yeah. Kevin Smith Hitchbot story. So How about BuzzFeed? And that's when, that's when make, can, our can buddy make... Joey called me up. He was like, dude, you've officially made it. You're in Gawker. How about BuzzFeed? <laughs> Maybe we'll make BuzzFeed. Yeah, you never know. Well, BuzzFeed, anybody can get on Buzz, BuzzFeed. You know, that's... Oh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, right. no, I'm not thinking BuzzFeed. I'm thinking of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Huff. Huff Post. Oh, no. Like, that's a bit... That's, like, big, though. Like, any that. blogger can be on Huff Post, practically. Yeah. I could be on Huff Post. You and I could definitely be on Huff Post. We could probably be, like, Tales from the Huff Post Swing or some <laughs> shit. Who knows? The offers are going to come pouring in. But anyway, it was amazing. Yes, it was an amazing show. A great interview. Very, I'm very happy. I'm, yeah. uh, she exceeded expectations on all fronts. So check out happy. The Slut Walk. Check out Amber Rose. Yes. Go in September. You can go before September 30th to October 1st. Downtown LA. DTLA. Go to um, Slut Walk and volunteer. And give money, donate at least ten dollars. Check it out. You can volunteer. You could go and volunteer there and like hang out all day and all a couple days. Ten bucks. Out. Ten bucks is yeah. all she was asking for, yeah. if you recall. Ten bucks. I mean, come on. Ten bucks. What's ten bucks nowadays? Yeah. And you can sponsor even, them if you, you have you merchandise. You don't get out of a, you don't get out of a fast food joint now for less than seven. No. Even at McDonald's. Another three bucks, you're done. So. At McDonald's, like the two for five. It's like this itty bitty chicken. Yeah, nuggets. most of, and you're so gonna, you gonna get, get a soda. You're gonna get a fucking. You're so gonna get like fries. Twelve bucks. Take then you'll 12... probably fall victim to the apple pie. Right, and then you'll have diarrhea so, later. So yes. just put the di- ten dollars. You can spare yourself. Yeah, diarrhea. save ten bucks and diarrhea. <laughs> And give it go to, to the Amber slut walk Rose. and have <laughs> diarrhea there. No, no, don't do that. That would be awful. 
I had diarrhea at the hey, slut walk. But just now, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. But just know there will be no shaming if you did. Yes, exactly. You could have diarrhea there, and they would not shame you. No shaming, no condemning, no saying weird. <laughs> yeah, weird is one of those words. And I find myself at work, I've said it. I'm like, God, I have to stop saying that. I hate that because I'm starting to not like the because word. Because when you're in the... When, I don't like the word because, at all. I hate weird. Because in the community, I mean... And I like what people say. What weird really means is I'm not there right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, but I don't... I don't even... get that. And it doesn't mean you won't be there, but it also yeah. means... You may never be there. But what it really means is you probably have some weird shit going on in your sexual life. So yeah. don't be so quick. To yeah. throw. So I don't know. Like, I, I try to. We have not to get to into exhibition. Oh, not that we have to get into it. And in one show, we have to have some exhibitionists in. Because, I'd like to. Because that's a weird one that we run into a lot, but we're not that way. But, I'm not, but I totally but because, like it. I like watching it. I'm well, totally oh, yeah. Like it. I mean, that's, you know what I mean? I'm talking about the people like going to nude beaches and that kind of thing and just yeah. have to, you know. And they sort of, they, they kind of look down on you if you're not. And they're like, what the fuck is wrong see, with you that you're not? I'm, because I'm not. See, I'm not. I mean, I would if I was at like a beach and they said you could be nude. Okay, fine. Or, I would try. Yeah, if it was like an event and yeah. But I don't think. But I, it's not something. But it's not an automatic for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more reserved. Like I'm feet. Just, I wouldn't just, go there. But then again, I'm not saying that being reserved is better. And it's just I different. also wonder how much of the whole exhibitionist nudist thing isn't a way for really, you know, swingers to to advance check the goods, you know? What do you mean? Hey, come on out to the... the so they can fucking get a look at your tits and see if they want to fucking fuck you later. Oh. You know, it's a pre-screen. Yeah. Well, that pre-screening the other night worked because I wanted to, but that, yeah, that was kind of like a far-off thing. Well, I mean, sometimes it's just about, you know, meeting somebody. Yeah. You know? I, in that case, I was happy just watching. Yeah, I was tr- very- and, and as the Trump story we told, that actually happened. It was unbelievable. And, and yeah, there you go. So there's yeah. a new there's a new standard in life. And our profile has been updated. No Trump supporters. Yeah. It's like, you know what? Because. Do we have an ending for the show, by the way? Do we have some fancy shit we say like in the other show? Do, do we, have we come up with a closing no, line, a, a zinger? No, we don't have a zinger. Okay, All right. then I won't try and make one. <laughs> no, you can come Swing with it. on it. No, I'm not going to. Anything I would come up with now would be so cliche. No. But. Yeah. See, but I like cliche. Cliche doesn't bother no, me. No, but it, it would be cheesy to, cliche. Yeah, it has to kind of fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We'll come up with something. Yes. Or maybe someone listening will come up with something. Stay tuned, folks. Uh, come back next week and find out what it was like for Gene to trib Amber Rose. <laughs> Or her to trip me. Is it tripping each other? Yeah, you'd be tripping each other. Oh my god, is mutual, that naked? It's a mutual tripping. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know if the I'd grinding come back. of the, it's it's the scissor grind. I don't know if I'd come back. That's what tripping is. I don't it's know if I come back. Grind. I think I would just like float away and not come back. Don't you remember in South Park? Scissor, scissor, scissor. <laughs> when it was, but it was Mister uh, Mister Garrison. Yeah, it is pretty hot though. Yeah. Well, tripping, frobbing. Frapping. frapping. You learn you learn all kinds of things. This, you uh, know what's you, funny is the whole the into. the double penetration thing, like two cocks in a vagina. Is essentially the guys the cocks are that don't make me gay, does it? <laughs> the cocks are fall, rubbing. Uh, all right, we gotta go. Rachel Maddow's on. We're gonna miss her. I know, but they're rubbing against each other. Yes. That's yeah, so hot. That part, all right. Anyway, that part's kind of gay. I hope you enjoyed the show. We really enjoyed <laughs> interviewing Miss Amber Rose, and yeah. we, we thank her for her talk- time. And we can't. We hope to see her again soon. And we love talking about all this. If you guys have questions, oh yeah, send in your we shit. Did, listen, though, we did have a question this time, but we'll we'll go over it yeah. next time. But like, give us some more because we'll you know we're right to share them. tales at tales from the swing. Tales at tales from the at swing at hotmail dot com. And we'll talk about. Oh it no, on the Gmail, show. Gmail. Why did I say hotmail? It's. T- it's because because we're so hot. hot. Yeah. You're feeling hot. Yeah. yeah. Tales we're just at so hot. Tales. Oh, my God. Really? Tales at Tales, tales from the at Swing. Tales from no, the Tales. Swing. We are Tales from the Swing at gmail.com. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Tales from the Swing at gmail.com. And so send us your questions. And we're at Tales from the Swing on. On Twitter. On the Twitters. On the Twitter. Yes. Coolness. And you don't have to worry if you write sexy stuff. Only Gene reads it. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> 
Let's see. <laughs> we'll screen out the perverts. All right. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Amber Rose. We Bye, hope you guys. enjoyed the show. We'll see you Enjoy next time. Bye. Hope you guys have good sex until then. And this is Dr. Ruth at West Ham. I'm saying get out to plan better not immediately. That was terrible. Bye. Oh, my God. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> waka waka. I don't know what that was. That was a bad Dr. Ruth. Hey, she saved my life. What can I say? See you next time, guys. This is your show, and I'm closing. Bye.